Bonjour, good morning. Jama Beth Flodion in Hongwe. This is the Conwe Pauper's Grave. There's a memorial here to those who were buried without name because of their poverty from the local workhouse. Uh, in fact, every community in the UK has a pauper's grave, often referred to as a potter's field because of the story in the Bible about how the blood money that Judas was given for betraying Jesus was spent buying a field in which strangers could be buried. And the connection to Judas is no surprise because being buried without family in a mass grave, without even your name being recorded, carries with it that stigma, that sense of social isolation, which is often added into poverty. After all, it's only 200 years ago that you were allowed to hold a funeral at all for someone who tragically committed suicide. And it couldn't be in consecrated ground, this isn't consecrated ground, and it had to happen at the beginning after nightfall. Poverty is still seen as a shameful thing. We may not call people vagabonds or sturdy beggars, but we have other nasty names we use now for those that we think are the cause of their own misfortune. And you can expect to see an increase in that kind of labelling as poverty grows exponentially in the current cost of living crisis. I'm ashamed of the fact that the church was part of that exclusion. And I'm here today to place some flowers on this grave as a kind of sorry for the church, for my predecessors as vicar, who regarded these people as somehow less because they died in poverty. And don't think this is a historic curiosity. There are still pauper's funerals. Uh, now we call them uh, public health funerals. And it's a surprisingly large number. In the UK, it's one in every hundred funerals. As I was preparing to make this video, I was listening to the children play in our schoolyard just behind us here. Imagine one in every hundred of those children not being worthy of being recorded by name. And the funerals that take place can be for tiny babies or people over a hundred. Anyone who don't have family or don't have family willing to pay for their funeral or who died destitute. One in a hundred British people somehow not worthy of recording with a gravestone. Well, we do believe that each life is precious. And I believe that because of what the Bible says. In John chapter 6, Jesus says, I am the bread of life. No one who believes in me will hunger or thirst. And anyone who comes to me, I will never turn away. I will never turn them away and I will raise them up on the last day. His hope, his resurrection, means that in this life we should strive for justice and the dignity of all human beings. And in the next life, we should not be surprised to find ourselves at the back of the queue. And these precious souls who died as paupers, died in poverty, being first in the queue, waited on like kings and queens. May God give us grace to see injustice in our time and to regard every life as saved and precious to Jesus Christ. Amen.